My name is Chen Chen Huang, and I from biology department. I usually go by Dr. Huang. That's all right. And、uh, I lead the、uh, Taiwan Biomed Study Abroad Program, obviously to Taiwan. I was inspired by my research project, so I've been. Doing a lot of research projects over the years, but one of them, the biggest one, is a heart failure project, which I use fish embryo to look for drugs that can rescue the heart failure. And and so the program is really designed to、uh, collect the natural products, pure compounds from natural resources. Like Chinese herb or marine species、uh, samples, and then take them to test on my heart failure model to see if we can identify any project. So、uh, the big biggest part in this program is that students and I will go to labs in Taiwan and do biology experiment and chemistry experiments. That together would take about one third of the program time. This is a PowerPoint with just a few slides, and then、uh, so our program is called a Taiwan a Taiwan Biomed Study Abroad. It is、uh, Bio 277、uh, uh, kind of course number, and in this program we have these、uh, kind of major components in it. Obviously, offer study abroad experience, so cultural diversity. You get to learn some language, Taiwan,、uh, Taiwanese, Chinese, and you get to meet Taiwanese people. Try different food. We also travel to several cities and have lots of activities. And then, like I mentioned, the other major part is the、uh, biomed research, and then we'll try to find、uh, um, potential heart failure drug. From Chinese herbs or other、uh, source resources, and then、uh, academic part, there's other learning opportunity such as learning the Chinese medicine. You get to exp-、uh, we visit the museum, and then also、um, we also、uh, usually set up some kind of、uh, experience with the Chinese medicine clinic, and that a doctor would provide some. Very safe, all right. Non-invasive kind of Chinese medicine expense experience, such as、uh, puncture, cupping, all right. And then some other activities would also、uh, allow students to experience some kind of medicinal effect from either hot spring or food, all right. And then other learning opportunity include ecology. Geology and then university visit, student interaction, and then seminars. I typically arrange lots of activities、um, for every day, like throughout the entire program, and I also kind of let me share this with you. We typically kind of leave. Around Christmas time, and then we stay in Taiwan for one month, and then this is a kind of daily schedule. We have some experiment, chemical experiment,、um, and then dinner, lunch together, dinner together,、um, and then the second week you will see more act. Oh, I'm sorry, I go too fast. So these are kind of daily activities. I know this is a short interview, so we won't go into the detail. But if you're interested, in, I will be kind of happy to, you know, go over these、uh, daily activity schedule with you. And so there will be some free time too for you to travel around the city, the the island as well. Yeah, I think that's a it's a big you know concern to students. You know, since they had never been to a foreign country or particularly Taiwan, they were kind of concerned about you know where do I stay?、Uh, if I don't understand、uh, Chinese language, would it be okay? You know,、uh, how about the food? You know, so basically I have those in consideration, and so I arranged the, the lodging for student.、Uh, Also, the good thing about in my trip is that our lodging is typically in kind of university campus or research campus, so they're pretty safe and close to the lab. So we only like walk a few minutes to the, then we can go to the lab and do research. And because they are associated with the university or research, typically they are much cheaper than the you know red house like hotels.、Uh, Commercial hotels, right? So that's the hotel part, and、um, 
just kind of extended your question a little bit uh, in terms of language. Um, I would say don't worry about that because I stay with students throughout the entire program, and so I kind of function as a instructor, group leader, translator, and uh, also kind of uh, program assistant. I kind of help students if they have any question. Um, so a common uh, kind of help that students need is that you know how do I order food at the restaurant? And so I typically would take a picture of the menu and then translate them, and then uh, so and then they they keep the picture. So when they go to the you know such as the some dumpling place, you know they know okay this is a dumpling that has cabbage, this one has shrimp. So if you're allergic to shrimp, okay you know that you probably don't want to order that. That that kind of uh, help um, is throughout the entire program. So. And then student, if student want to go to explore the city during their free time, I usually would give them a map and then give them recommendations. And also, um, you know, in each city there are safe places and it's not so pla safe places but that I would provide that information to them at the beginning of the program as well. So I took students to some authentic meals to some you know nice restaurant those the cost of those meals are covered by the program right. and so we for example one of the meal is Beijing duck and and so they serve the entire duck but they can kind of slice it into the uh, little pieces of meat for you but there's this head portion that is still on the plate and so and they would they would cut it and um, you can see the duck brain and actually it tastes pretty good and so I encouraged students to try the duck brain. I would strongly encourage them all right and because this the study abroad experience is way more than you can imagine all right a lot of students told me that the, the study abroad experience almost is almost a life-changing experience and because you're learning new things, you're seeing different people, you know, your eyes can open wide. So if you are considering, I would strongly you know, encourage you to go ahead. And then the next thing I would suggest is that keep an open mind, all right? Because you're gonna see different things. Like we mentioned foods, you may, it may sound kind of scary to you, uh, but they are food, right? Other people eat them, so they're not poisonous. They're not, they're not gonna kill you. So keep an open mind, try different things. You know, that will make you kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that, but basically you're willing to try different things and you, you know, your mind is open up you can take any challenges that you can take more challenges that you uh, you not you're not used to or you know that's kind of the attitude is is good for you 